So many plans. So very close. To be undone at the last moment. How utterly embarrassing. Mannheim could have been one of the final bastions of humanity. Now it will fall, like all the other great cities of the Empire. Damn you, Castor. I don't understand how you did it. I don't understand how you were able to trick them all. Unless... Was this all part of the plan? Was it always fated to be this way? I suppose I'll know soon enough. The execution will be swift, but what awaits me after, due to my failure? How utterly unfair. This is Red Moon role-playing. Time passes, and in another hour, all three of you are back at the Graf's palace. You have been told to wait in a lovely waiting room where there's a few trays of food and drink and nothing much else really, a window, but that's it. While you're waiting, you hear outside the room you're in a lot of commotion. There are a lot of people moving back and forth, there's a lot of yelling, shouting, commanding. You noticed as you came back to the palace, Kruger and Heinrich, that now the guard and knight are out in full force. You think there's about a hundred people outside moving back and forth, and you know there are some knights outside your room. You're not entirely sure what's happening, but in your reunion, you have been able to share all the information with Siegfrieda, and Siegfrieda, you have been able to give them all the information you have discovered, and Erica is very happy to be reunited with you. So what are the three of you doing, as you just seem to be waiting for the moment? Well, I'm enjoying some of the refreshments. I'm famished. I am double fisting the most expensive looking wine in this room. I am trying to balance out the guilt of having flayed someone's arm with the joy of being reunited with Erica and my friends, and the trepidation of what is going to come next. I have been tied to a criminal contract that's going to lock me in the city for a year so that I can become officially recognised as a doctor, basically. Yes, and not to mention you still haven't even actually done that yet, that final step. You were going to do it, but then you thought you'd wait. I guess now you can do it, but, well, who knows what's even happening now. What do the three of you say to each other? You're all waiting, you've shared the information. What do you all think's gonna happen next? I really hope that the, the graph is going to <laughs> to give us something for our troubles. We, we, we almost died a few times, right? Well, it seemed like, it seemed like you two had quite the adventure out on the streets. <laughs> Uh, I was just meddling around with uh, corpses and paperwork back at the palace. I, I got to uh, practice driving a, a carriage. Uh, well, it wasn't so much practice as, as doing it for real all at once. It was... Um, we, we were lucky not more people ended up getting hurt. A new calling for you, maybe? Uh, maybe not. Right, Heinrich? No, I... I... can't recommend it. You hear a few loud noises from outside the window. Fireworks. It makes sense to you now, Heinrich and Kruger. You perhaps forgot. Apparently tonight was the final firework display of the festival. It seems to still be going on, despite everything. Is there a window here to look out and, and to see the fireworks, then? Yes. Then I'll move up, glass in hand, looking out at the... the, the city. Look, the final day of the festival. I suppose we should really think about what our future looks like as a... as a party, I suppose. Uh, admittedly, a lot is going to, I'm sure, be predicated on how much we're paid, if we're paid, uh, and whether we end up getting charged with some false crimes just to shut us up, but uh, for some reason I don't think that's going to happen. 
Well, we made far too public a mess for th things to get brushed away like that. Yes, and that's food for thought, Siegfrieda. Your earlier worries seem to maybe be slightly altered because apparently your friends not only captured the culprit, but he very clearly was doing several illegal things in front of several citizens, which does change the defense procedure. Let's just take a take a moment here and think bigger, because because money is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of coin. But they're gonna put us in front of this fancy room, in front of all kinds of fancy people, and express their gratitude using all the fancy words they have. And we're gonna have one opportunity to ask them for something before we have to go solve the next adventure. Because there will be one. This this Gideon thing isn't going to leave. Well, this is a pretty nice city, isn't it? <sighs> It's entirely too high in the air for my likings. Show me the nearest river, Kruger. And I have my own village waiting for me now, don't I? Now that I'm Lady Wittgenstein. Yes, my lady, indeed. Uh, I'm becoming increasingly fond of the idea of giving that title up. I don't know. Maybe it's just the exhaustion of everything we've been through. I think when I arrived in this city full of... Well, I'll be honest, confusion. I didn't know how much to hate the world and my path in it and how much to be hopeful that I could start a new life under a new identity with a new, well, title. And now, yes, that idea of adventure, like you say, is going to be there, isn't it? We're not going to be able to get away from it. And then there is a knock on the door, and in comes Lady Emmanuel Nacht. Her hair is slightly tussled, she looks very tired, but there is a smile on her face and she comes over and takes out a bottle of brandy. Not quite sure where that comes from, but she suddenly emerges from her person and she begins pouring out brandy into the glasses on that tray. Well. You free. Ha <laughs> ha, you, you mad free. The Castelliberung trio. What can I say? What can I say? What a night. What a night, eh? How are we? My God, look at, look at you. Look, have you even been mildly injured at all? It doesn't look like it. Oh, I, 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 um, I had some kind of g green magic-y thing thrown at me, uh, but I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm sure you'll be fine. You always bounce back. What can I say? What can I say? Well, I mean, what can I say? Come on. You look a little confused. Where's the celebration? You bloody, you bloody did it. I, I guess we saved the life of the graph, huh? Well, yes, to start with. You also got the elite, the Magister Mysteri. I mean, uh, the, the fact that he's even still alive, well done, and yes, we have so many questions for him, so many questions, but already that's confirmed. The leader, the leader of the entire cell! A great victory for the Empire. Yes, yes indeed. And for you, Free. I mean, I think it's already quite obvious, isn't it? You're cleared of all <laughs> charges. Well done. None of that, that's all gone. Good for you. Free men and women today, you all are. That's that's great news, I say, looking at the, the other two. So, now what? I, I, is there something I can do for the city? Perhaps for you? Well, okay, wait, wait. Don't get too, don't, don't get too ahead of yourself. We'll get to that. But I'm interested, really. Interesting, interesting. Well, no, first, yes, no. Let's be quick, because it's been a long night. I'm sure you all would love some rest, darlings. Yes, so let me... Be brief, so yes. What happens next? Well, first of all, uh, you will of course be getting your rewards from the graph. Now, I'm sure I don't need to say. She gives you a look, then Siegfrieda, as one of you has already informed one of my well, Barak. Uh, of course, it would be you, Siegfrieda. You are the shrewd one, but maybe you two aren't aware. Some of this, not all of this, can come out. Let's just say exactly as it happened. You understand. Uh, for example, the assassination of the Graf. You you saved him, and you're going to get rewarded for that. But the public, no, 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 not 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 right now. That didn't happen. 
I'm sure we all agree on that, yes? Of course. Oh, I don't see don't see any reason for people to know. No, the political field at the moment literally disastrous. The, the graph almost assassinated on the end of the festival. I madness. As for what you did do, the Black Chamber was never involved. At all. You three, on your own brave soul, so, uh, intuition, uh, you yourselves began to investigate this horrible tax conspiracy and were approached by the staff of the Graf, that's Barrack, of course, and then together thwarted this conspiracy. We were never involved. She points at herself. Understood. That does sound like something we do. Hmm. It does indeed, Heinrich, you handsome devil, you. <laughs> yes. And that's how it will be. You, the free heroes of Middenheim. You're going to get quite a lot of publicity. Again, you might be thinking, I know, Sigfrida, keep it all hush, but no, that will not be hush. We need that. Heroes from Outdorf coming and aiding Middenheim. You know, it shows that the bonds are still there, that all this separatism nonsense and the heresy and all that. No, no, you came forward despite people not trusting you, and you saved this city from an awful conspiracy. The nature of that conspiracy, well, the chaotic influence, sadly, will eventually get out a little, but we can keep that mostly clamped down. It, that people don't need to know exactly what happened. They only need to know that there was a horrible conspiracy to harm the citizens, and it was stopped thanks to you and, of course, the Graf's people. I'm sure this is all very logical, yes? No questions so far? Makes perfect sense to me. Simple enough, even I can follow it. Yes, yes. And again, you do deserve something. That's what you're getting. You three are infuriating and maddening, but Sigma, Sigma, in Sigma's name, you got it done. Somehow, you did get it done, and you don't have a single scratch on you. <laughs> ah, well. Come on, Siegfrieda, have a smile. Even you're involved. You're. A clever woman. I know you hate me, but for the moment, I love you. Oh, I don't... Uh, uh, believe me, I reserve no hatred for you, Lady Nacht. Uh, one thing I would request, if it is at all possible, I've been thinking it over while you've been telling us how wonderful we are, is... I, I have, under the course of this operation had cause to adopt a pseudonym oh yes i know uh, the events at the uh, the uh, the garden party don't worry that's all cleared no no i want it i want it clear and made made clear that it was necessary that i had to adopt that pseudonym um you see I have even had to, uh, under the auspices of this operation that you set us on, had to sign legal documents in the in the name of Lady Wittgenstein, which of course is not who I am. Uh, I I think it would be best at this point, unless I'm I, I, but my, my eyes boggled when Kruger and I look at Kruger when his first reaction upon you entering the room was to ask, what do you need us to do next? But at the same time, if inevitably you do require us to do something else, if you feel it is better for me to maintain that uh, false identity and I will not be penalised for it, legally speaking, then... I will maintain it, but I look to you as someone of greater influence and power than anyone else in this room, and probably this entire building, for for guidance. Well, not en entirely true. I am not an elector count, but wait a moment. She comes over and she gives you a bit of a look. Legal documents. I was aware that you'd made a little show of yourself at the party, but how far did you actually take your pseudonym? You are aware that is highly illegal. Oh, but we you told us to take any means necessary 
and never instructed us that we couldn't do this in the pursuit of this goal. Uh, we we followed your instructions to the letter, and I think you could say that we... Uh, in fact, you already have. We performed the task incredibly well. I'm sure it would not take much to spill some ink over paperwork if it's no longer required, or introduce it to a fire. But... If you do not deem it necessary, then that is all well and good. Um, if you are, however, saying to me right now, and at this I will be stroking Erica's neck, that I have in some way performed an illegal act that you do not approve of, then, well, ultimately... <laughs> We were your bondsmen and women, Lady Nact. We did as you asked. She comes over and reaches out and gives you an affectionate little pat on the shoulder. Do you allow that to happen? Well, I'm not going to cut her hand off. She laughs. Oh, Siegfrieda, that's why I... <laughs> That's why I do like you in a way. That would be a wonderful threat if I couldn't... I'll be honest, I wasn't, I'm not going to do this, but just what you just said... Every single thing I say will be believed and everything you say won't be. Just, just just, so that we're clear on that. Now, in regard to this. Hmm. She gives you a look. The act is illegal, and it was, of course, going to be forgiven under the guise, as you said, of you working for me. What I'm hearing is you are, for some reason, wanting to continue under that name. My question is... Why? What would be the purpose of that? You did well in naming yourself a random foreign noble that no one here would know. Of course, back in the Reichland, that would be far more complicated. And I don't know if you're aware you chose a family that is almost nothing. Uh, on my last status report on them, they might all be dead, in fact. But I didn't really take that into mind. Oh, no, so someone knows, Lady Nacht. Commissioner Frieda Wallenstein is is aware because she is the sister of Lady Wittgenstein. Is she? I shrug. Certainly what our research picked up. But anyway, back to the business at hand. Well, exactly, yes. Why? Why would you want to do that? Like I said, in whatever way we can make ourselves useful to you, and I won't deny there are some perks to being recognised as a noble, if we're looking at things like rewards... None of the three of us are anyone of any title. Uh, we may well be declared heroes of the city, we may be showered in, in crowns and other such heavy metal coins, but give it a year or two and our deeds will be forgotten. Titles? Titles actually give one a little power, and power to do good and fight the chaotic elements that we so stridently dislike. I nod, supportingly. She paces a little. That would all is all true, Siegfrieda. But again, you have chosen a very particular name. The Wittgensteins. How much do you actually even know about them? They are a dying family in a small barony. I believe it's... Oh, where was it again? Is it Wickendorf? I can't remember. I've been in Ebsreich for some time. I know it's somewhere in that area, east. Oh, you should visit Wittgendorf. It's, it's quite the recovering little burg. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get to it. What I'm saying as well is that if, I, if you wish to continue under this identity, I don't really see how it will be of use to me, if I'm honest, and I'm not entirely sure it will be that useful to you. I, I, what I'm saying is nobility is two things, my dear. It's the title. But it's also the money. You don't have a noble's lands. You don't actually have any money. What was this about a, a legal document you signed? I don't know how you did that, but... Well, the, the family will probably complain a little if you actually go over there and try and take their stuff. Well, not if they're all dead. Oh. Well, I guess you could forage the place, yes. All right. But I guess you could do that. The tru truth of the matter is this, Lady Nact. I am a physician in training, have been for some time, have been denied my proper assent, whereas most students my age would already be doctors. Due to the poverty of my upbringing, I do not have that privilege. 
However, I find that as soon as one is a lady, a titled noble, doors open, certificates are given, seals are planted on pieces of parchment, and all of a sudden, won't you look at that, you're invited to grand feasts and are able to sit next to high and mighty doctors from other lands or operas. Hmm. I mean, that is all very true. That's why it's so illegal. You also are aware there's more to it than that. You are expected to do things, uh... I couldn't... I couldn't help you with that, you understand. You could... Hmm, I suppose if you wish to be a failing foreign noble and keep that here, it could work here. But it wouldn't work back in the Reichland, you understand that. I see no desire to return, honestly. Huh. A very strange request and a dangerous game you're playing, Sigfrida, but I tell you what, you're right. You've done me well. And did I hear future service? Do you actually wish to work with me again? I, I find very surprising. I look at Kruger, given that he's the one that opened his mouth on that subject. I would like to... I would like to, to do more of this. To, to protect the Empire. To, yeah, help people. Save lives. That seems to be what you're doing, right? I think I can... I think I can be a part of that. To a point... It is not always easy to join the Black Chamber, but I wouldn't say no. I'll tell you what, though, Kruger, have a think on it. Again, you have a few options here, but... Well, Siegfrieda, let's decide this then and now. It's your choice. One thing I will say is if you keep up your facade, is that going to be enough for you? It's Siegfrieda who is immediately going to get rewarded. Are you happy for... What was it again? Lady Margaret Wittgenstein. Are you happy for her to be the one who gets the fame and the rewards? Well, it seems that, yes, as I say, it's my, my, my confusion and uncertainty perhaps makes my words get a little complex for some ears, so I'll, I'll be plain. If Siegfried, a no-name, is being rewarded and then I try and remain on in the city as Lady Wittgenstein, we have a problem. Exactly. Do we not? Uh, where And frankly, Siegfrieda is my name, but my name means nothing. If you are guaranteeing that there will be no legal repercussions for remaining Lady Wittgenstein, that is who should receive the reward. I will go up to the podium with my friends. Lady Wittgenstein, my friends call me Siegfrieda. Why, who knows? But that is who will get the reward. If, however, there are legal repercussions in the offing, if you think that this could all blow up in my face, then we'll drop the ruse. My name is Siegfrieda, I take my reward, and with my companions, we get the hell out of this city. Well, you wouldn't have to get out of the city. I was trying to explain. If you choose... To reveal who you really are, that is easy to clear up. There'll be no legal repercussions at all. If you stay under that identity, that I can't promise. I can do my best to help you as a favour, and you might get something out of it, but I cannot begin to tell you what might happen in the future. Again, a dangerous game. You're right though, the noble name might get you a bit more in life. She shrugs, it's your choice. It doesn't really affect me either way. And you realise, Siegfrieda, that to your surprise, you are being given a choice. It seems the choices are to keep the guys and take all the opportunity, but also the danger that came with that, or drop it now and just be Siegfrieda, apparently with no legal repercussions. And then who knows, can you still achieve what you want? You are, after all, about to be rewarded. You think the choice is yours, surprisingly so. I look at Heinrich. I look at Kruger. Ultimately, the only people in this world who can judge me and whose opinions I'll care about are them. Oh, and Erica, of course, but I don't think she ever judges me. Well, speaking as someone who is uh, partially living in some kind of lie, being uh, mistaken for Castro Liberung all the time, well, hopefully there'll be a bit less of that. <laughs> well, that that would be nice. Well, from that perspective, 
I may recommend just having the one identity. It's, uh, it's a lot easier and a lot less people coming to kill you, potentially. And Heinrich, of the two identities, which do you prefer? I don't think the the essence of you is going to change based on the name. But I do know, and all the time we've been acquainted, nothing has infuriated you more than being trapped by the immutable station of your birth. And if being Lady Wittgenstein enables you to pursue your goals unburdened by... Well, having no good last name at all, I say go for it. Heinrich, sometimes you amaze me with your silver tongue. You truly do. Uh, Then I will remain as Lady Wittgenstein and let her receive the reward. I shall set up my surgery here and uh, I will hopefully gain access to treat the gruff son of his many maladies. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not entirely happy with that decision, but you're right. I owe you one. My advice, then, would be try and stay out of the Reichland. You say they're all dead. Uh, um, they probably are all dead, but uh, you said something about a sister. They might not be very happy about that. Inheritances and all that. Oh, I'm sure we could. We're very persuasive people. We'll work something out. Yes, and if uh, if we have to go across borders, I'll start dressing as a peasant again, and you can just call me Siegfrieda. And also, even though it hasn't been proven, I do believe there's rumours that the family is steeped in possible treason and heresy. Oh, I uh, could almost guarantee it. All the more... She looks confused, then. How would you know that? Just, uh, it seems almost every noble family in this uh, world does have its fingers in pies of corruption. She blinks and says, really? Where's my corruption? I shrug again, give Erica another scritch behind the ears. I'm sure that you are pure as the driven snow, Lady Nact. I can't speak for your cousins, uncles, aunts, brothers, sisters, grandparents, or indeed offspring to come. All I have seen is that chaos seems to attract itself to people of power more easily than it does to the common folk. Very well, then. You're lucky I didn't quite clear all that with the graph just yet. But all right, Siegfrieda, as a favour to you, you are this lady... (laughs) Marguerite Wittgenstein. I have a feeling that name is not going to help you as much as you think, but, well, maybe it will give you some help. Again, I'm not entirely sure how much help something without money gives you, but I get it. All right, you have some use for it. That can be your reward. What about you, Heinrich? Awfully quiet. Don't you want anything? I'm a... I'm a simple man. I think I've demonstrated much... Uh, Like my friend Kroger here, a certain aptitude for rooting out agents of chaos. Unlike my friend Kroger, I don't feel so inclined to do so under your particular yoke. No offense meant, of course, but the the skulking and the scheming, as, as, uh, as evidenced by my behavior, is not so much my strong suit. However... With uh, an appropriate investment in my my burgeoning enterprise by the graph, and uh, I'm sure a recommendation by yours unto the proper authorities, the Cult of Sigmar would be more than happy to have someone like myself in their employ. She raises an eyebrow. That's a bit left field. Cult of Sigmar? Didn't take you for a priest? Oh, no. Uh, not, not the, the order of talking to people and soothing their souls. More in the order of finding where chaos has, has sown itself into our land and burning it out by the roots. Oh. I suppose I can have a word with the graph about that. How strange. Uh, apparently, according to Barak, you were very disappointed about not becoming... taking part in the judicial championships. I thought... For some reason, I thought that's what you wanted. Uh, that was your background, wasn't it? Uh, indeed, and... As I know, uh, it takes all kinds of skills to make a good hunter in this world. But you, especially Lady Nacht, I think we understand when you have a particular skill set, one so rare and so finely honed as yours or mine, is it really the best use of that for our empire to put it sitting pretty in a palace? 
She shrugs. I don't really know. But all right. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, again, the graph will be coming in shortly. And oh, and just to clarify, uh, due to the nature of the situation, your rewards aren't going to be gigantic. You understand. They want to play this low key. You're getting rewarded, but apart from your arrangements, you're not actually being made nobles or knights just yet. But who knows in the future, eh? As always, next time. Hmm. And she leaves. And then the Graf himself enters the room, flanked by knights and a woman. You think you recognize her? Ah, the woman from the the College of Music. Something Katerina, Todbringer, maybe? A princess, although you're not entirely sure if that was actually a title or maybe just a nickname. He still looks a little tired, Siegfrieda, but you have to admit there is a difference. He seems taller, broader. The vacant expression he had before seems to be gone as he looks over the free view. Well, my friends, my saviors, first of all, thank you. On behalf of the province of Minheim and of the Empire, I am, well, the way I see it, I am in your debt, although I am afraid I have been advised that I cannot truly extend that debt as much as I would like. I would proudly give you knighthoods and lordships, but the situation, you, you understand, my advisors, who I trust still, have informed me it's better to be a bit more prudent with your rewards. How heavy is the head that wears the crown? Indeed. Still, I have been informed. First, your humble initial reward. He snaps his fingers, and a steward comes over and hands you each a pouch. You look inside. Fifty gold crowns each. Quite a hefty pouch. Oh my. Again, I would give you more, but the situation is as it is. Also, though, wish to inform you of the deeds you have done. I know we will need to keep it secret, but you have saved my life. From, from what I've been informed is a horrific, chaotic conspiracy. The arch enemy himself trying to destroy my city and take from it Sigma and Ulrich knows what. Thank you. It takes great courage to do such things. Truly, it is the duty of every citizen of the Empire. Indeed. Well said, young man. Well said. So, some introductions. Lady Wittgenstein, obviously, uh, believe it or not, I do remember you. I apologize for my manner. I I confess, and he says this to everybody, I let my weakness get the better of me. I have mourned my darling wife far too long. I thought, I thought my children and my people were ready to, well, to no longer need me. I was wrong. Deadly wrong. And it almost cost my life in my city. I will not. I refuse to make that mistake again. So you I have already been introduced to. But I've been told that your two companions are not actually your retinue and not actually a champion and a lawyer. Uh, so please, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? We are all of us equals. Um... They are nobility as well. No, oh, no, no. We are equals in the eyes of Sigmar, of Ulrich. Uh, we, we are... We share your your frailties, my lord, in that we are but humans. And when faced with what we have been facing, uh, I believe we are all on equal footing, or equally as vulnerable and equally as capable of strength. Hmm. Wise words, my lady, wise words. Again, I apologize for some of the commotion that was caused. As a Reichland and noble, of course, you did cause a scene, but I'm, I'm guessing maybe that was all part of the plan. Uh, you, you are wise, as they say. Ah, good. Well, I fear for you 50 gold crowds, of course, is nothing. But oh, it will, it will uh, help me immeasurably. Mm. What else can I offer you? Again, I cannot give you too much, but I can at least try. There is work to be done in Middenheim. If you wish to be part of it, I would be honoured. But of course, you are free, apparently mercenaries of some sort. So 
I would understand if this is where we part ways. If I could be of service to the city, I would be... I would be happy to do so. I would love to be part of something bigger. And the city deserves all the help that it can get. Interesting. Interesting. I am forming, as of tomorrow, a new commission. A commission dedicated to ending this threat. This purple hand that I've been informed of. No more. No more. The investigations are already underway. And from what I've been led, we have some very good intelligence. Every single name will be investigated. Every single person will be brought forward. I am already having the, the uh, when people leave the city. What, what was it, Lady Emmanuel? Uh, you're, you're cornering off the, the, the exits. Yes, yes, every single person will have to report. They are not getting out. We're going to burn them. Burn them from the very roots and hang them all from the square. I, uh, I swallow. Yes. Good. Well, the commission will be looking for help. It will be largely be run, of course, by the watch commander, but, well, the watch has been lax, hasn't it? And so I have insisted that it will be drawing from different individuals, different skilled people. Every single one of you will be focused on the task of ending this corruption once and for all. Is that something you wish to be a part of, my young man? Yes, I do. I wish to be a part of putting a stop to this purple hand, this this threat that uh, threatens not just this city, but many others as well. So, count me in. Hmm. <clears throat> Very well then. I will put you in command. I will put you in talks with the watch commander. That shall be your role. Thank you. What about you, young man with the... Apparently, you are not actually a champion. Or are you? You have the look of a champion. It was quite a believable lie. And if I'd be so modest, the talent as well, your uh, e excellency. Uh, but, no. I am a duelist among many other things. But first and foremost, I am an enemy of those who threaten the Empire. Hmm. Well, then what boon can I offer you? There are plenty of need for people. Would you like to be part of this commission as well? I feel, and, and please, I, I don't mean to, to question your judgment or to make light of your suggestion. I feel, and I'm, I'm sure my compatriots may agree, that my talents are better used, a less uh, constrained environment. Uh, a position perhaps with a, a greater remit to seek freely among your lands and the lands of the Empire, those who would do it harm, and bring them to a, a speedy justice he frowns a little perhaps not quite getting what you're saying but then lady Emmanuel just pipes up i think he wishes to perhaps take on an inquisitorial role or a witch hunter role yes one of the sigmarite witch hunters perhaps that will take a little doing but it is possible oh, oh well, yes i mean ha huh. yes there are problems in the city aren't there I was going to give some leniency to the Temple of Sigma. They have been requesting reinforcement. Perhaps could this work that way, my lady? Yes. Maybe, Heinrich, if you truly wish to take down that path, you'd be willing to partake of the small witch hunter establishment that might soon be made in the city. I would be more than happy to serve as, as an envoy of sorts, a, a, a diplomat between our respective faiths, uh, finding common ground over the spilling of heretic blood. Hmm. Well, in that case, it's done. I will allow the lady to sort that out. But yes, I have been willing to admit that I will allow the Church of Sigma a bit more leeway. It is important, especially in this time. I know that the Elricans will not be happy, but we must... Put aside the differences and remember that we are all serving the same emperor. I will be happy to do so in a way that pleases not only the Graf, but his subjects. And he nods. Very well then. And Lady Marguerite Wittgenstein, uh, again, a commendable, a, a noble of your standing taking part in this. Well done. I, I don't know how much I can offer you anything. My gifts to these two will seem paltry. Oh no, the gifts you have given them, I have no doubt... I can speak for both Heinrich and Kruger. They are always polite, always appreciative. I wish I could 
even possess a fraction of their of their courtesy. Uh, I, I I want for only something very simple. I believe it would be very simple and within your power, uh, your your excellency. And it is this. Uh, to the right to practice medicine in your city. No! Oh. Uh, I am a skilled doctor. I'm currently waiting on the completion of uh, my scrolls of certification to admit me to your physician's guild. But I have need of a property, and I think to myself, and a way of getting out from under the criminal thumb, or maybe having two practices, one where they can operate their black market dealings and one where I can actually treat patients. And so I come to you humbly to ask that if there is a property where I may treat people most requiring of it, uh, I have some skill in in surgery and, and medicine, uh, I would be beholden to you. Well, of course, uh, you will have to... Some of that will have to be taken up with the Physician's Guild. Uh, oh, I have no doubt, but I also know that you are a very powerful and influential man. Well, I, I certainly so. am, and as you said, it shouldn't be too difficult. You're a doctor already, you said, or that will make it much simpler. Yes. Strange. Well done for you. No, I, I, What a young doctor. <laughs> yes, Siegfried, uh, that's a funny thing he's making. You're not actually a doctor yet. No. As I say, the paperwork is still going through. Uh, well, very well then. Uh, I may be able to arrange a property for you. And uh, Lady Emmanuel Knight, can you handle that? Lady Emmanuel Knight laughs a little and says, I suppose we'll have to see. They're certainly going to love you at the Physician's Guild, Siegfrieda. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I'm a very... I'm a team player. She really is. Hmm. Very well then. Very well. In my power as the elect account, these are all granted. Thank you. And again, if you wish to stay in Mittenheim, it will be appreciated. Any more service you can do, and, well, you have my debt. And my family's debt. And you see the woman in the corner nod very vigorously. Yes. Thank you. You have saved my father and our city. I do not even know the three of you, but I, I hope I, I will get to know you. Yes, we'll, we'll. And, again, I'm sure Reiner Baron, when he returns, he will be very happy to meet you all as well. And Stefan, well, he would be here, but he... It is late for him, you understand. Of course, and I hope that I can meet with Stefan again. The, first, the only time we encountered each other was... Uh, I appreciated his company. Hmm. Anyway, well then, for now, you three should get back to have some rest and be happy for what you have done. We have a lot, a lot of work to do. Mittenheim is going to change from this day. I am going to see to it. I see I was been lax. I have been too lax. It is time to regain my reins. It is time to retake my city. And well, the Emperor's summons will have to wait. And with that he leaves. Heinrich, what's going through your mind? Only a few days ago you thought all this was for nothing. You were terrified that you were going to die, or that you'd never get any recognition, and now, apparently, you're getting all the things you want. At least the start of them. And you have 50 gold crowns in your pocket as well. I hesitate to spend it all in one place. But everything that I said was true. I, I feel like we've all asked for the same thing, if only in different ways, which is a bit of authority, a, a bit of, of recognition beyond that which we would ordinarily be able to achieve. I'm satisfied with that. Kruger, what about you? The answer is yes, you will be helping the city. Some sort of commission. And again, you have a feeling that the situation is going to take a rather dramatic turn. This is the elect account himself. You heard him. He wants the Purple Hand destroyed. That's probably going to happen. <laughs> that's exactly what I want. I mean, that's the only way I can get them from, you know... That's the only way that I can prevent them from continuing to hunt me wherever I go. So if I can be a part of destroying them, well, that will help me in the long run. So I, I, I want to be part of that. And it feels good to be on the right side of the law for once. And Siegfrieda, for you, things aren't quite simple. You've actually now got 
a bunch of opportunities, but you do realize at one point you're going to have to make some choices. You've now got two places that you're going to be given. You have a way of becoming a doctor, but you also had a very different way of becoming a doctor. And of course, you have the identity of Lady Margaret Wittgenstein. Again, you said it hopefully will open doors, but you do also remember there were some other problems with it. And it seems those are now going to be problems you're going to have to deal with one way or the other, although you don't know how bad they'll be. Oh, when don't I have choices? I make these problems for myself. And then I'm presented with a crossroads, and neither way is clear. But what I do know is this. If I have been given this property by this underground criminal organization from which to run my surgery and where they can essentially use back rooms for illicit dealings, then I have a perfectly good surgery where I can actually treat people. This one that the criminal group has set up for me is essentially off the books. It's their problem. It's in my name, and that's fine. Um, they can deal with it. I never said that I was going to protect it for them, uh, and I will quite happily have it in my name. I won't renege on that contract. It's only a year. That is true, although it would occur to you that... That's a slight wrinkle. You have a feeling the perfect cover was that you would also be there being a good doctor. If you're not, <laughs> an off-the-book suspicious place probably isn't actually as useful to them as they'd like. At least that's what you'd think of a, a clever criminal. A stupid criminal wouldn't care. Oh, I'm sure they were very, very clever. And uh, this will be a bridge that I have to cross. But... The point is, I am setting things up for myself so that I have a way out if I need one, a legitimate front, uh, so that if I should ever have the privilege of treating this Steffi Graf person, I can do so in a surgery where I know that the back room is not being used for the brewing of moonshine, the assassination of a suspect, or the trafficking of chaotic artifacts. Indeed. And so, a very long night comes to an end as the fireworks finish outside and the festival comes to a close. Kruger Hoffman. A few days pass. What will you do with these few days? You wake up in the morning with your friends and you are a free man. A day or two passes and no one is sending you notes. No one is following you anything, you are informed that soon you'll be meeting with the Watch Commander himself to begin your new employment. You know the word on the street. A horrific conspiracy has been unveiled. No one's quite sure how many people were involved, but arrests are being made. And they are being made. This new commission is already hiring a great deal of Watch. A lot of houses are being barged into. A lot of clerks, servants, guardsmen. Lots of people are suddenly being taken in for questioning. Well, yes, what do you do? Yes. I am somewhat concerned about the heavy-handed tactics that are being used, but then again, to root out the kind of evil that we are facing, perhaps that's exactly what's required. So yes, you in these days that I have, then I... I will... I think I will... see if I can find out anything about about Bjorn, about about Boris, about if there's any way that I can help his family or if there's someone left behind someone that needs to also be told about what happened to him I feel like I owe him that this happened to him because of me at the end of the day you do but the sad news is there's none because he was an orphan like yourself the only other person who knew his name would be Rena, and Sigrid, and you. Yes, I suppose that is true. There is one last thing. There's one person you did want to see one more time, but, well, the situation has changed. Do you care about the fate of Brunhilde Klaglich? She will be very soon hung, you believe. You can wait to see her at the noose, or pop by the watch barracks your choice I suppose I'll pop by the watch barracks then to see if she is in a well she's 
more cooperative now and, and perhaps willing to say a few more th- words than, than she was able to share with us the last time we met. You'll go in. She's there in the corner, in shackles, in a dingy cell. One arm hangs limply to the side, twitching a little. She looks at you with an utterly vacant expression. The guards inform you that she has not given any new information. It doesn't really matter. She'll be executed in a few days. Apparently the investigation has gone way beyond these people. You've been told that the documents they found at Wasmere's townhouse, a lot of them were burned, but not enough. There are several leads, and plenty of those people are squealing absolutely fine. It seems that when the top is removed, the bottom starts to fall out quite quickly. But she gives you a look. Ah... Am I not seeing the news tomorrow? Is your friend outside ready to continue her beautiful work? No, no, no. That's that's all done. You you just have the news to wait for now. Yes. How does that feel? Oh, well. Irritating. I would have preferred you to be dead and have a lot of money in my pocket. But I lost the game how it is and you won well done you have to admit you got lucky though very lucky yeah I did for whatever it's worth you were uh, you were a fine enemy to come up against I just I just find it so difficult to not hate you for what you did to to my friend though did you really have to kill him and, and, and send his head to me? Was that really necessary? Of course. As I'll give you credit. You're the first person in seven, eight years it hasn't worked on. It's normally a very good message to people. Oh, message it was clearly received. Just very cruel. It is cruel, isn't it? It works. Normally, you do what you need to do to win. I suppose. Well, you'll have to pay for those sins and whatever awaits you next. I wish you, um, I, I wish you a, an end that will be quick. It's more than you deserve, really. It won't be quick. But thank you for coming by and assuaging your conscience. That's what makes you the worst of the three. The other two I get don't mind, but you, people like you always make me sick. You think you're better than everyone else. And yet, I didn't see you stopping your friend brutally mauling my arm. The pain. Even under the drugs, I could feel a little. And even now, it's excruciating. But you're the hero here. You're really not, but you are a winner. And that is all that matters. And I'll just turn around and leave her there. And you leave. Again, you tried to look for something in those eyes. There was nothing. Just a cold, dead stare. But it doesn't matter. She'll be hung very soon. Heinrich Schilf. What do you do with your free days? You walk out into the morning... Breakfast served at the Templar's Arms isn't quite the usual. Zelda did have a way with her culinary dishes, it seems. But you are a free man, and more than that, apparently on your way to great things. You have been given a letter and informed that in a couple of days, if you wish it, a carriage will be taking you away. For a time, you wish to be a witch hunter. It has been granted you are going to be given specialist training at one of the chapter houses. Granted, that's back in Reichland, but when it's done, you'll be heading up a new contingent that will be coming into the city of Middenheim. It's going to be tricky, you've been told. You will not have all the privileges you should have, and that is because you are in Middenheim, and even though the Graf is allowing this witch hunter contingent to come, the people still hate your guts. 
But maybe that doesn't matter. How are you feeling? At least you have money in your hand and power and privilege on its way. Exactly. Middenheim is for now, but power and privilege, that is forever. And you cannot look me in the eyes and tell me Inquisitor Shelf does not have an incredible ring to it. It does. Is there anything, then, you'd like to finish off? As it seems, opportunity is awaiting you. Honestly, I've I've been through a lot these last few days, and uh, unless I am so lucky is that when the princess said she'd like to get to know me better, that she was speaking quite literally and not just being polite, I can't think of anything that's especially on my mind. Then you'll wait. Again, you're told the carriage will be coming in a few days, but you're also informed that there are a couple of carriages, and if you wish, well, maybe there's still a little bit to do here before you truly leave this purple hand. They are finally being rounded up quite quickly, but they are not all being discovered immediately. There might still be a little work to do there. But the tables have turned, Heinrich. You captured that man alive. You've been told the information he did give is vital. The Purple Hand's days are numbered. It's just a case of when, not if. At least in Middenheim. Oh, I'm about to say that statement smacks a bit of hubris, but uh, for once, not mine. Uh, I am sure Lady Noct is enjoying adding to her fingernail collection, and Sigmar willing, some of that information will be useful. But no, if there's time to, to kill, both metaphorically and otherwise, uh, in Middenheim, then... Uh, more than happy to spend a few days helping to round things up. But I think, uh, no. I said I always wanted to be a champion, right? And the problem was I was thinking too literally. I don't have to be, uh, why be the champion of a city when you can be the champion of an empire? Indeed. Do you feel good? And you swear for a moment your sword has a bit of a glow to it in the sunlight. You are soon going to be Sigma's chosen. You're looking forward to it, I assume. I mean, I don't mean to speak poorly to my friends, but I think it beats being a doctor. Siegfrieda, there is one thing that definitely finally preoccupies your next few days. Your meeting with the Physicians Guild. And your final decision. Are you going to use the pure power of the noble name, and of course the, oh, the Graf is my personal friend, or are you going to use the aid you were given by the man? You were told that he'd already sorted it all out, you just needed to say his name. It turns out you now have a choice. Of course, there's consequences for either choice, but which will you go with? The Graf is a far more preferable sponsor. And yes, while there may be reprisals from criminal enterprises, my friends and I have been being hunted and and threatened and all, all sorts of negative consequences have come about as a result of our options and often my choices. So yeah, if I have the backing of the graph, then that is what I will use. It doesn't go... As smoothly as the other way would have gone. You have Lady Emmanuel Nacht, who just so happened to pop by for your interview, and she gives you surprisingly an awful lot of support. The head of the Physicians Guild is not happy, but they understand. And your inauguration will soon take place. Your ceremony at the Temple of Shalia, your official oaths, your lovely doctor's certificate. You are given a congratulations by the head physician on being the youngest doctor in the history of Middenheim. You think there's a little snideness to that. And you're sure it is maybe not quite the title you'd like, but you're right. You did not, in the end, use any of your criminal stuff. It didn't get used. You receive a letter a few days later. Well played. I cannot say I am happy, but well played. Let us make a new arrangement. And it simply implies that you are off the hook, except for paying for the document. In the end, the only thing you actually did use. 
That's a legal document saying that you are a noble. You apparently are off the hook for the second place. It will not be used. And you're off the hook for using him in any way to become a doctor. The document still needs to be paid and you are given a flat 100 gold crown sum to be paid at your leisure, but to be paid. How do you feel about that? You think, how are you getting off so easily? It does occur to you that maybe even the man didn't think that you'd be ending this adventure a personal friend of the Graf. How would they have known that? Well, indeed, and I'm not in this for the coin. There are plenty of more lucrative professions out there in the Reich for me to take on than being a doctor. So, of the 50 crowns that I've been paid, I'm sure I will be able to get some of them to this individual and pay the rest off as I put my work in. Uh, but for the time being, the focus is on the work. I need to make this a surgery I can become proud of. Only one last wrinkle. How do you feel about your name? You've managed to get all of this on your own merit somehow, except you went that path. Dr. Lady Marguerite Wittgenstein. Oh, every circular debate I was having with myself, with Lady Nacht, with my friends about my name. Ultimately, it's all immaterial. It's all useless. Debating something as trivial as a name is... Yes, there's a burden that comes with it, but there's a burden that comes with having no name. And... Quite frankly, when I consider what I did to that woman who was... drugged unfeeling. I feel that's more the action of a Lady Wittgenstein than it is of a Siegfrieder. So Lady Wittgenstein feels more appropriate until I can work off the guilt and shame of what I did at my moment of peak. I think Lady Wittgenstein works. It makes sense to me. Then that is who you are now, it seems. At least for now, although that might have to linger quite a while, and you will need to be careful going back to the Reichland. But for now, you're looking at a new doctor's room and looking at a lot of paperwork. You apparently have a lot of reading to do, and you look, and it's not the interesting kind. It's a lot of legal stuff. You maybe weren't expecting that, but there's a lot of it apparently for a doctor. Well, no time like the present to get started, is there? And so, the Grand Festival comes to an end. And Middenheim marches towards the future. A graph restored, they say. And a purge, quite a nasty one, taking place in the city. But it's all for a good cause. And the free heroes of Middenheim are known. Oh, you are known. Your names are on many people's lips. That's the one thing, sadly, you no longer have privacy, or at least to a point. You are known. The heroes of Middenheim. You have listened to an episode of Red Moon Roleplaying, where we play the legendary campaign The Enemy Within for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition, published by Cubicle 7. In this third part of the series, we are tackling Book 3, Power Behind the Throne. Joining us as players in this series are none other than Aaron Hammonds from Queen's Court Games and our dear friend Matthew Dawkins. The music was made by Flowers for Body Snatchers, Word Clock, Metatron Omega, Agar Sonus, Apocryphus, Halgrath, and Northumbria, featuring a number of collaborations with other artists, and was used with permission from their label Cryo Chamber. Check out their website at cryochamber.bandcamp.com or their YouTube channel for some moody dark ambient for your gaming table. We'd like to give massive thanks to our champions of the Red Moon, Martin Hoshobear, Simon Cooper, David, Julia, Camilla, Bob Lange, Cameron, Anchon, Graham Berry, and Doug Thompson for their generous support. And we would, of course, also like to thank all of our other patrons. Without your support, the show would not be possible. If you want to support our work, please check us out on Patreon. You can get access to bonus campaigns for Cult Divinity Lost and Coriolis there, as well as get early and raw access to all of our recordings. You can also hear your name read on the show as a champion of the Red Moon, as well as play Cult with us. Most importantly, that support is what keeps the show going, so do check us out there. Thank you again for listening, and remember that... Skaven are definitely not real. Except, well, who's going to believe you? Never mind.